Hiya, my name's Tobias, I'm 25 and I live in Nottingham in the UK. I currently hold both a bachelor's and a master's degree in multimedia related subjects and I recently completed a 150 hour online TEFL course. It's going a great day. I currently work for a supermarket. I've been working there since I was 16, a good 8 or 9 years now. I've been a valuable employee to them right the way through school, college and both of my degrees. In my free time I really enjoy getting out and about. I'm a keen cyclist. I've also been studying karate now for about three years. I've got my brown and one white stripe belt. I'm also a keen reader. I enjoy both fiction and non-fiction. I wanted to become an English teacher abroad because I always felt like my knowledge of the language was quite advanced and it's a great thing to be able to use this to play a part, however small, in bringing the world together. I wanted to go to Korea in particular because whilst I was at university I met some lovely Korean people who introduced me to the, the culture the food, the films, and even a bit of the language. Chega chael choa han and hanguk yong hoga binji bieo. My teaching philosophy. Through having studied to postgraduate level and in teaching people things like at karate showing someone a new routine or at work showing someone how to use a new machine. I realised that a good learning strategy has three key elements that work together to improve the learning experience and these are variety, problem solving and independence. Variety is important because not only does it produce a lesson which is more interesting and more memorable but students have different learning styles and it's really important to, to cater for all of these to allow everyone to benefit from the lessons. Problem solving is also really important. Um, when students receive a new piece of information they really should try and push it to see where the limits of it lie. It's something that I realised when I was learning French. If I didn't know a word I was able to work my way around it and describe it using things that I already knew. Independence is also important, maybe a bit less important for the younger children but it's still necessary for students to come to their own conclusions. The teacher should present the information and then act as more of a guide to point the students in the right direction towards mastery. OK, I think that'll do. I really look forward to hearing from you. I'd just like to let you know that I've got all my documents. I'm ready to go. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope to hear from you soon. Goodbye. Anjunige seo.